Welcome to Drink with Dragons. My name is Rourke. And Merry Christmas, everyone. Today is Christmas Eve. This drink is going to be called the Christmas Tree Cocktail. That's right. <laughs> it's going to be a pretty interesting drink, definitely. This recipe is going to have maybe one and a half ounces of Midori, brand new bottle. It's also going to have one ounce of rum chata, it's going to be a nice creamy drink. Rum chata, awesome stuff. And then we're going to give it one ounce or so of light rum, going with 10 cane, awesome stuff. And then we'll give it maybe three or four ounces or so of milk, going with almond milk. That stuff is good. Got the crisp, got some Christmas lights up here in the background. <laughs> Give a nice Christmassy feel to it. So, it's going to be a shaken drink. We're going to stick it into this hurricane glass, which we will then top off with some whipped cream or cupid. That's sassy, by the way. That's my cat, sassy. And then we're going to garnish it with some star fruit. This is a star fruit here. You'll see why it's called a star fruit in a moment. When I, as soon as I open it, this is going to go on top of it. <laughs> hmm. Common star fruit is actually pretty common, I think. I've seen it in almost every grocery store I've gone to, so getting star fruit shouldn't be too much of a too much of a challenge. Not much for the lights. <laughs> He likes the lights. <laughs> so, we will get started on this drink now. Start out with the rum, 10 cane. Pretty good rum. You can see the review I did for it here. I actually did a review for most of these products. Don't think I've done one for Midori yet. So, one ounce of rum. Just to give it some potency, really. And flavor as well, because 10 cane is a sweet rum. This is pretty this is a pretty sweet drink actually. We're just doing the three or four ounces worth of milk just to balance that out a little bit. So, next we'll give it Ounce and a half of Midori, brand new bottle, like I said. Oops, I take the paper off it. There we go. Now I can get it off. Hmm, smells good. Midori is a mellow liqueur, just in case you're wondering. So you got melon mixed in with the, with the rum, along with the rum chata, which has a bit of a, uh, I guess you could say, carrot cake flavor to it. So it's going to be a nice, sweet dessert style drink, really. All right. Next, we'll give it an ounce of rum chata. Nice green holiday cocktail. Ooh. So, there's that. Next, we'll give it some almond milk. <coughs> Gotta shake this stuff because it gets it settles. Now we will do, I guess we'll do about four ounces. Yeah, we'll do three. Hmm, you know what? Just to mix it up a little bit, I guess, we will give it a little bit of star fruit juice. 
because why the hell not? And then a second little bit. Cutting board. Got a, knife, got a new knife. Also, very important, always wash produce because you never know what you might be what might be lurking on these fruits. So cut that in half. Cut that part there. We have our juicer. Set right in there. Just to get some flavor in there. That's optional for sure. Alright, shake it up. Oh, need ice first. Shake it up. Over the rice, that's good. All right, and now that's how we got so far. Nice bare naked tree there, really. <laughs> Hurricane glass is supposed to symbolize the tree, but you can use any glass you want. Now we will add our kufit. And I already cut a piece of stir fruit out just for the garnish. And this is why it's called a stir fruit because when you cut it open, it looks like a star. Pretty cool, huh? So now I got a nice big piece of it so that way that I can just try to see if I can't do this. And now, we will garnish it with some strawberry syrup. Make sure it's nice. There we go. Also a new bottle. <laughs> Ready? Now it's got a nice look to it. Perfect. Getting good looking. Now, no tree is complete without the star. Then right in the middle. Perfect. Look at that. 
So, here we have the Christmas tree cocktail. Looks very much like a tree, sort of. Has the nice decorations there. Got the star on top. Very pretty looking drink, isn't it? Let's try it out. Good. Got the rum chata in there. You also get nice hints of melon mixed in with the so it's, it's nice it's like a nice melon rum chata flavor. You also get a little bit of coconut in there too actually. I don't know where the coconut's from coming from, but yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a really nice cocktail. No alcohol flavor in there. Mm. Really nice. Trick with the star fruit though is uh, you got to work that straw in there pretty kind of delicately because otherwise you'll rip the star fruit in half. I almost did. <laughs> I almost ripped the star fruit right in half. <laughs> but yeah, still looks good, I think. Alright, the Christmas tree cocktail. Check it out. Thank you for watching. My name is Rourke for Jacob with Dragons. We are exploring water alcohol. Have a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year's, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, all that good stuff. See you next time and drink responsibly.